When we think of a Wimshurst machine, uh, it's uh, an electrostatic generator, an old-fashioned uh, machine. And uh, if you were to go out and buy one, very likely you'd buy something like this, almost sort of toy size. But they do work extremely well. And in that case, the ball gap there is about 30 millimetres. Uh, a spark would jump across there from that little machine. We wanted to go uh, one better though, so uh, we built this machine using one metre diameter discs. And uh, here it is. So it's exactly the same as the small one. It's got two uh, discs which rotate in opposite directions with these uh, metallic sexes here which collect the voltage, collect the charge uh, off the disc. And uh, a fair amount of power is needed to drive this, so we drive it by means of an electric motor. And that's a three-phase motor which is uh, carefully controlled using an inverter. So we're able to control the speed very accurately. So we can uh, start it up and uh, then see see what happens. We haven't got the capacitors connected at the moment, so you get quite a sort of thin uh, spark. But even at this speed, that's that's about 10 seconds of one revolution. And yet yeah, we're getting a spark across there, about 50 millimetres of spark. So if I speed it up, these neutralizing bars which uh, we can adjust the position of for optimum. It's about there. Right, let's really wind this thing up now. And uh, let's turn off the light. Quite a hefty old spark there, so we'll slow right down again, and this time we'll connect the capacitors. Now then, we put wooden handles on these, and uh, they have absolutely no excitement. We might as well put metal handles on there, but uh, right, we'll show that out. Connect the capacitors up. Uh, these are made of acrylic tubes. Uh, with um, an adhesive uh, aluminium foil both uh, inside and out uh, <clears throat> and they work uh, extremely well. Set the gap uh, around about there, that will should do it and uh, let's give it a start and see what happens. And we'll turn off the light. And come down on the speed. So there we are, that's a demonstration of a one metre diameter Wimsurst machine. Hope you've enjoyed that.